So you have just built a new PC or upgraded your old system with a brand new RAM kit only to find out that something is off and your PC simply does not seem to be working as great as you expected it to work. Well among many other reasons, one of the primary reasons for an underperforming PC can be that the RAM sticks are not working in dual channel mode. This video is going to be a short tutorial on how to check if your RAM is working in dual channel or single channel mode. I will also touch base on how to enable dual channel support for RAM as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So one of the easiest ways to check if your RAM sticks are working in dual channel mode or not is to download and run a simple and a light utility called CPU-Z. For this, head over to the official website of the utility, cpuid.com and download the classical version of CPU-Z. You can choose either the setup file or the zip file, doesn't matter much. Once downloaded and installed, run the utility. I have provided the download link for CPU-Z in the description box below. So I already have CPU-Z installed on my PC. With the utility open, head over to the memory tab on top. In this tab, look for the field marked as channel. You can clearly see here that I have my RAM working in dual channel mode. Had it been working in single channel mode, this field would have labeled as such. That is it. It is as simple as that. This is, this is the easiest way on how to check if your RAM is working in dual channel mode or not. So what if your RAM is working in single channel? How do you make it work in dual channel mode? In case if your RAM is working in single channel mode, then you can rectify this by installing the RAM modules in the right slots on your motherboard. For starters, in order to enable dual channel mode, you will need to have two RAM sticks at least, preferably of same capacity, brand and frequency, as well as two RAM slots. Additionally, you must note that dual channel, triple channel or quad channel memory configuration is not a feature or function of the RAM sticks. Rather, it is a function of your motherboard and of your CPU. You can see here that ASUS Stuff Gaming Z690 Plus motherboard supports dual channel memory configuration. In other words, all RAM sticks can work in dual, triple, quad or as many channels as possible if your motherboard and CPU can support that configuration. Most commercial motherboards, including the Z690 motherboards from Intel, however, are limited only to dual channel memory configuration. Only the workstation grade motherboards offer triple or quad channel memory support. The ROG Zen 2 Extreme is an example of a workstation grade motherboard that supports quad channel memory configuration. Now the best way to figure out how to enable dual channel mode is to refer to the manual of your motherboard. Take for instance the manual for the ASUS ROG Crosshair 7 Hero motherboard here. In the memory configuration section it tells you how to correctly install the RAM sticks for enabling dual channel. So if you have one stick, it doesn't matter which slot you choose. ASUS tells you here to choose the DIMMA2 slot to start off with. But if you have two sticks, and this is important, you must populate them in the DIMMA2 and the DIMMB2 slots respectively to enable the dual channel mode for this pair of slots. If you have three sticks, then the third stick can be plugged into either A1 or the B1 slot. That way you will have two sticks working in dual channel mode and one stick working in single channel mode. Finally, if you have four RAM sticks, you would populate all four RAM slots. Note that having four RAM sticks wouldn't operate your RAM in quad channel. Instead, you will have two pairs of RAM sticks working in dual channel mode. Again, while not necessary, it is generally a good practice to have two or four RAM sticks of equal size, capacity, frequency, and brand. So there you have it. This is how you check if your RAM is working in dual mode or not. I hope this short tutorial helped you. If you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments box below. Also, if you have learned something of value from this video, I would appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel.